is basically a time to roll initiative. That's that's I mean that's what we're gonna do, but just for you and this goblin. So I, I want to see what happens first between you and the goblins. Well, you and this goblin here. All right. So my initiative, initiative is, I believe, a, a two for this goblin. Nice. Pretty nice. Oh, also nice. Okay, so what is your dex modifier? Five. All right, I'm at a plus two. So you get first action. So just as this thing is calling out invaders, what do you do? Uh, do I get... How many actions do I get? Do I just you get, a, get full, like a full turn? You get a full turn, correct, yep. All right. First thing I do, I yell, "Bork, bork, bork, <laughs> bork, bork, bork." I don't think I don't think they could hear you 25, 30 feet away, bud. <laughs> Can I just yell at the top of my lungs uh, through the bank of the cave, "Bork, bork, bork"? You can run, yeah, sure. You can run and run and yell, "Bork, bork, bork." That's part of the same action anyway. So. All right. So what would that sound like, actually, Zerk, as you're running back to the party? I just run, and the sound they will be hearing as I step up to this square is. As he comes around the corner with these big bushy eyebrows that are covering his eyes and <laughs> this big curly mustache. Oh my gosh, I love the Swedish chef. He's like the best thing ever for the Muppets. <laughs> Alright, so you guys can hear bork, 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 bork multiple times. So you can move up to your movement and stop and you can have an action as well so all right so that's it is a free action but he can do it while he's running we will 15 technically yes it's considered a free action but there's a dagger in his face oh so all right so how much movement did you move back Uh, about 15 feet 10 feet all right so you want 10 feet Ten, you took two steps forward and two steps back. All right, sorry about that old old 1980 song. Ooh, yeah, you can move back old. ten. You can move back up ten as you're running, and you know it is a part of your free ma- action. You can do as part of your movement, so no big deal. All right. So there you go. Uh, you can also, as you're moving, you can pull your your uh, weapon out as well. There's no more minor actions like in 4E, so. If, yeah, can I shank him and throw my dagger in his face as well? You can. No? You sure can well, do good. that. Yeah. <clears throat> and that is the the goblin right here. Uh, ah. That is a one. So. You're too busy constantly running. <laughs> so too bad we didn't have the wheel of misfortune emoticon right now because I know that there would be fifty of them being spanned in there right now. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase a spin for you uh, on the <laughs> misfortune. Oh, I love you. Yeah, that, that's what I that's what I love to do with my my XP actually is is buy my players spins on the Here we go. misfortune. So oh, oh, hold on. Oh no, no, that's not official. I, I'm getting the wheel out. Okay. Remember, I have this this wheel. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start spinning it. All right. So I need to get I need to get prepared. So it is a uh, eighty-one to eighty-three. Basically, you your blood man that always gets rolled. I mean, when people roll it and when whenever I roll it on the wheel. Uh looks like uh, one second. Eighty-three. Sorry about that, guys. I was kind of uh, unprepared, actually. Worrying about all these emoticons and all this other stuff that's going on. So, almost there, guys. Sorry about that. No problem. Thanks for playing. Yeah, I know. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for showing up tonight. Thanks for being prepared, Dungeon Master. Uh, thanks for playing. All right, so you rolled a uh, an 81 to 83, which is your bloodlust and aggressiveness. This calls you to hit an ally within a 50-foot range. Uh, this will be the closest ally to you. 
you roll normal damage to the closest target. So seeing that you have no uh, close alley to you within sight, uh, I'm going to let you go ahead and hit the goblin. So because I want, it does call for hitting a target. There is no ally close enough to you. So actually, your your critical fumble has turned into a uh, sort of like a blessing. So go ahead and roll okay. normal damage on that goblin in front of you as you throw your dagger at him. Wow. Now, if if dirt was you know if dirt was in line of sight and within 50 feet, I would have no, had no problem, you know, your dagger coming out of your hand as you let go of it and, you know, your hand basically goes down and the bagger, dagger slips out and goes behind you and nails dirt in, like, the nuts or something. I have no no problem doing that. But Did seeing you just that, say bagger dagger? Da, yeah, the dagger. But seeing oh, okay. that he's not in, nobody's in line of sight, and the goblin's right there, right in front of you, sure, you can you can turn that critical fumble into a into a hit. So you, you've done nine damage, and as you stumble and throw your dart, I'm um, sorry, your dagger, the goblin goes down dead. He is at zero. So nice, nice, uh, nice move on that, and good job with dirt not being uh, in line of sight because you probably would have nailed him with it. So yeah. So that was a that was a hundred exp well worth being spent, huh? Yeah. So, oh yeah. So, so he like tried to throw it. In. You know, toss his hand backward to, to cock back to throw it. It bounced off the wall behind him, went back, and actually hit him in the head anyway. <laughs> that sounds good to me. That sounds like hey, a Dave. That sounds I like a uh, winner. That. I have something for that, Dave. What do you have for that, Storm? <laughs> I love it. It's, it's always so beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? You need to come up with the prices right. Bum, bum, ba, bum, you need to come up with that. That's your homework, Storm. I'll have to figure that one out. All right, so that's it for uh, Orville Deer. You guys heard bork, bork, bork. bork. Uh, I want everyone else to roll initiative now that the the Goblin and Zerk... Basically, the Goblin didn't even get to have any action. <laughs> so. God damn it all the fucking goddamn hell. <laughs> Negative one. Oh my god. Unbelievable. You, my dear. you actually skip your turn. <laughs> you, my I dear friend. I roll initiative to save my freaking life. I think it's broken. I think the button's broken. I wonder how it would be if you were, were ever to roll a fucking life and death saving throw. I know. Everybody's language is so pitiful tonight. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> I'm a little offended, I just want to say. <clears throat> I'm sorry for swearing so fucking I've much. Done and I have not rolled a higher than a two. All right, so Orville Deer, as you as you s stick your dagger into the uh, the throat of the goblin, and he clutches it, going down to his knees and and passing out, and blood is just squirting everywhere, squirting on the other goblin that you see there. Now you can see that this large cave is divided in half by a ten foot high escarpment, which is to your north. This is the escarpment right here. You can also see that there is a steep natural staircase that is leading up from this lower portion to the higher portion where the escarpment is. Uh, you can also see that the air is hazy with the smoke of cooking. You can also see a fire and now that you're actually in the room there is a very stagnant pungent smell uh, that smells like wet goblin, wet fur, uh, and and they're just basically dirty goblin. So, all right. So first up, uh, Lazar, you are up. You've heard bork 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 several times. I love that code word. That's pretty good. Uh, what are you doing, Lazar? You're up. <clears throat> Everybody's I... in the turn tracker, I would believe, right? Yeah, it looks like you four are in there. Hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah, dirt's there. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Cast mage armor. You guys are killing me with escarpments. Okay, that is a. I believe that's a concentration. If uh, yes. it is, okay. So you can only have one concentration spell being concentrated on at a time. Although you can cast other spells, just not concentration. But mm -hmm. if you do, then it'll cancel the old one. So, all right. So ma yep. mage armor's up, and if you get hit, then you're gonna have to do a a, a saving throw. Okay, and I have to roll. 
Uh, what are you rolling for your mage armor for? Uh, the wild magic surge. Ah, that's right. Yeah, all cast for you. Yes, that's exactly it. I love it. Good luck rolling. Close, but We're no good. cigar. You're good. You have no wild surge. All right, and uh, that's that's actually about it. No movements up or anything as you as you hear mm -mm. bork 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 and all right. I'll actually kind of step to the side to allow the big uh, <clears throat> dragonborn to, to get past me. So. Okay. What was that wizard? Why did you spell fizzle? Uh, uh, don't, don't don't worry about it. Just just go ahead. I'm the just road. an old and important man. All right. Don't yeah. judge me. So this goblin here, <laughs> Zerk. Him? is knocking an arrow and he is moving back and it looks like he is trying to line up a shot with you uh, he is basically running back to the to the top of the escarpment and he's right here so he's starting to go into a dark dim lit area of the of the cavern but you can still see him uh, so he's going to take a shot with you at you with his bow and the attack is I believe plus four, and it is 1d6 plus two. All right, so the goblin rolls a one. Uh, mm. You you hear a sort of like a wooden, you hear the bow, you actually see the bow as well, uh, fall out of his like hands. I would that goblin a will of misfortune. Ooh, would you really? <laughs> All right, so I would be more than happy to, to give you that. So let's see what the goblin happens to the goblin, shall we? Oh, uh, Dave also, uh, I just looked it up. Major armor actually is not concentration. It's not? Okay, it's just yeah. got a duration then, right? Yeah, yeah. I knew it was one or the other, so. Alright, let's see what happens. I'm releasing the, the button now. The goblin, oh my goodness, 91, 92. Something's bad <laughs> is going to happen. Uh, the goblin falls, loses his footing, and twists his ankle. Uh, he falls prone. And the goblin's movement is halved until the end of the encounter. Wow, that's pretty vicious. So nice. All right. Thank you. Thank the, you. The Thank goblin you. falls, so he basically takes one d six damage for falling ten feet. So I'm going to give him some bludgeoning damage from falling. Oh my so god, he's he, going to die. He t no, he doesn't. He doesn't take uh, enough damage to die. Oh, so he, he, you do hear a thud. Uh, he drops his bow, and he's also prone right now. And he's also going to be slowed as well, which is represented by the net. And that is until the end of the encounter. So he is pretty much screwed. All right, so that's it for that goblin. Uh, next up is Arvaldir. What are you doing? I can shoot and move, right? You can you can move and shoot it. Yeah, not at the same time, but you can take your movement action, shoot, shoot, and then move. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, so I can I'll can like take out my bow, shoot the mage, go yeah. in by mine. Yeah, taking, and then move back. Taking out your bow is part of your movement action, so it doesn't eat up any of your movement. It's just part of your. It's just like a like another free action within your movement. All right. So I'm gonna move one square back here, take out my bow at the same time. Okay, sounds good. Then I'm gonna shoot uh, the mage here. You're going to move back, okay. Seventeen. Seventeen on that goblin is a hit. The damage is... Oh. Only six. Alright. So you've put this goblin in a weakened condition, and he uh, he appears to be pretty bad right now, and he basically staggers up, uh, bounces off of the wall, and he's still in the same position where he's at. All right, and then I'm gonna continue my movements. Okay, and feel uh, free to uh, continue that. Ten, fifteen. I turn around, yell at the party. I fucking said Bork. Come on. <laughs> 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 All right, that's the end of Arvaldir's turn. All right, so next up is another goblin. What? What, what did he say? Did he say bonk? Is that the password? 
All right, so you can start to hear foot, footsteps uh, scamper behind you, Arvaldir, and you see you do see a goblin that does protrude around the corner. He is wielding a short bow, and he does attack you. That is an 18 versus armor class. Hit. And you get hit for 6 piercing damage. Alright, I'm loaded. Okay. I'm weakened. Now, uh, the goblin uh, then uses a bonus action called Nimble Escape and uses the rest of his movement to duck back behind the corner. Dirty bird. Alright, so next up is uh, this mage here. Well, the so-called mages, as you called them. Three, four, five, six. He does run up. He's uh, he's actually run down further down the uh, the corridor than what the other goblin had had moved to, and he casts a spell at you. He casts Firebolt at you. So the goblins oh, uh, will be his intelligence is zero. So he will just get a plus two. Ooh, and he shoots a bolt at you for a 19 versus armor class. Hit. And this fire bolt does a minimum of one fire damage to you. Whew. And that is it. Rogar, you are up. You hear Bork, Thank you, Bork, sweet Bork, baby Bork, Jesus. Bork, 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 And I step aside, Bork. And then you hear an arrow fly into what sounds like flesh, and you hear Bork! Then you hear a scorch that hits some more flesh, and you hear Bork! Uh -huh. That's it, Firebolt. Dark immunity. Oh, That's it. That was, uh, that was totally You're correct. My goblins get yeah, to cast not magic! My, uh, Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It's not my turn yet, is it? You go, Warwick. No, it's, it's Rogar's oh, turn. One. No, it's not my <laughs> turn. It can't be my turn. I yes, got negative one. Wait. Then why are you at fourteen? Why? Yeah. Well, let, let's. <laughs> yeah, let's just say that you have a one. Uh, maybe, maybe the turn tracker does not recognize negative numbers. Maybe. It does. I think it does. I, I would think it would too. But we're just gonna put you out of one. I'm gonna move you down because I remember you rolled pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, I got crit, uh, critical mit, uh, crit one, and then okay. I got negative two, so it's negative one. All right. So now I have uh, a, another goblin. He is as well. He is using a short bow, and he launches a bow. He while well, he releases the arrow from his bow towards the rogue. Wow! Don't worry, Zerker. If you go down, I got you. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> so the attack is a eight versus armor class. That is miss. A miss. So I hope you guys in the chat, you guys can see the rolls a lot better now. Because of the, it has Don't an worry, chat Don't worry, Orville, dear. I got you. All right, so now Dirt the Daring is up now. Okay, well, Stains heard Bork, 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 which he naturally confused for Bark, 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 Bark. <laughs> right? so, he thinks, oh, my God, there's a doggy around the corner. And he... I'm going to move me just... Where in the hell is he? Is he in me? The the wolf will have yeah. a movement of, uh, I believe, 40 feet, I think the wolf has. Oh, there yes. it is. Okay, I see the, it the wolf has 40 feet of movement, so you can give you can give stains 40 feet of movement. Okay. Come, stains. All right, when he rounds the corner, I see him go bolting. So I go running right after him. I see shit stains, and I go running around the corner. <laughs> shit and stains. Yeah, I yelled shit stains when he ran, and then I ran after him, and then I came up to this point here, and I see these guys right in front of me. That so is 30 feet of movement. I take my uh, torch that I have in my hand, and I uh, 
I whack this guy here as hard as I can with it. Okay, just go ahead and do plus two to your attack. No, you can do, no, just do a normal attack. Just do a normal okay. attack because it's, it's basically a, it, that torch is like a club anyway, so, and you're proficient in that kind of weaponry anyway, so just, yeah, I'm not worried about that. Okay. I mean, that's what, pretty much what a, a torch is. It's a clubbing instrument, so you can just have your proficiency uh -huh. and stuff, so. Alright, so, so you miss, and this, this mage type of goblin takes a staff, hold it, holds it up with two hands, and you basically you try to overhand him, and he blocks the blow. And you can see that this do this goblin is a uh, pretty roughed up already. All right, so uh, do you want to take an attack with uh, s uh, stains as well? Um. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll let you do that. Sure. Why not? <coughs> Stains won't so be around too long, get? I don't think. Uh, Stains is going to get a, a D20 plus four. And he also gets Pack Tactics, which is going to give him advantage because you are an ally of his and you're within five feet. So, of both the target and him. So, uh, you can go ahead and take advantage on that. So, hit your advantage macro with plus four to hit. Very cool. What? Nice. <laughs> Jesus! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, there, wait! I'm there, sorry. There, uh, there's yeah. an, a there's a macro called advantage. I, I'm looking for it. I oh just got the wrong God. one. <laughs> hey, early in the morning. Uh, yeah. I got it, man. I love her. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bonnie, coffee, chop, chop. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, snots actually jumps right up onto the mage and he does hit so go ahead and now you can do a 2d4 plus 2 because he is biting his bite is a 2d4 plus 2 piercing damage so you need to write that down as well yeah or plus 2 2d4 plus 2 dirt gotcha oh wow snots right. literally destroys this kobold actually rips the throat right out of the goblin this goblin is dead. All right, so dirt. Is it a kobold or a goblin? <laughs> it is a. It's a goblin. <clears throat> it's scaring me, Dave. Every time you say kobold. You know, I, I, I get those two little sons of bitches messed up all the time, and I've been doing this since <laughs> I've been DMing. So. You, you know they're different species, right? I totally know that. They you know? totally look different too. All right, you guys are now trolling me. I'm fixing to play the troll song on you guys. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right. Rogar is Rogar. going to walk into the light, uh, but he has no vision up to this point. You can see light so, at the end of the tunnel from, you know. Right. But where you're at, you can basically kind of guide yourself along the wall. And his dynamic lighting is working great. So he gets, you know, he can still see the light at the end of the tunnel. All right. So you can start to come around the corner, and you notice that Arvaldir is... Uh, is in pretty bad shape actually because uh, actually I should have him in a weakened status so he's kind of you know dragging his feet along <clears throat> what's wrong with you Rogue? What? I got an arrow shot into my leg you how do you think it? I feel? Uh, <laughs> do you want me to take a look at it or? <laughs> take a look at it? <laughs> What do you think this is? A medical Institute? <laughs> or, or do you think you'll be okay? Can I go and kill goblins? Or do you, you want can, me to tend to you? Tend to me, please. Tend to you? Tend my, to my ass cheeks. Oh my. <laughs> tend to my glorious elven ass cheeks. Yes. <laughs> Silverlock, that would be vicious, man. Fire elementals or, or what challenge rating? Holy Someone shit. in chance. Let's right. Suck out the venom. <laughs> uh, Dave, I am going to actually use a spell on him and I'm going to cast Healing Word. Wow, him, uh, you're actually going to use a spell? I am going to save. I felt bad for <clears throat> having the, the rogue die. I don't want to have him die again on us. So Cure wounds I am going or to, Healing uh, Word? Healing Word. 
That's only 1d4. You're right there. You can touch him. You're within 5 feet. Oh, that's right. All right. That's right. Yeah, little, yeah. little hint for you, bud. Get yeah, out of jail I'm card free. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, DM Warren. Holy yeah. hell. Toddy Merry Christmas, Optin. everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for playing. Thanks for the follow, Toddy Optin. All right, Welcome so 1d8 plus. I guess this is everyone's first time playing tonight. Thanks for yeah. your DM. Yeah, and this is this is fun. And, yeah. First time DMing. This is really fun. We should do this more often. Uh, six healing points. To the road. Are you still? Uh, I don't think you're in a weakened status anymore. Are you? Nope. Are you full? Nope. Uh, that's one point short. So I touch. Yep. I touch the rogue's uh, shoulder, and he starts feeling a. Uh, Euphoric uh, feeling coming across his body. As you grope his sh shoulder? No, just just, just touch Okay, it. all right. All right, all right so bow, anything bow. else for you, Rogar? <laughs> is that it? We're moving on to Lazar. Uh, that is it for me. That was my action and <clears throat> movement, so I'm good. All right, Lazar, you're up. Now that the uh, the massive human meat shield is in front of you, you can uh, proceed to uh, do your magic casting things. Perfect, all right. Burning hands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they'll let me do that, right Tronks. There. I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shut stains. Okay, I'm gonna cast firebolt on this goblin right here. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any kind of real cover, so. No, he, he doesn't have any. He's within straight shot from you. No okay. partial, no three quarter, just a normal shot. Twelve. A twelve versus armor class is a hit. Oh, oh, one damage. Actually, I'm sorry. A twelve versus armor class is a miss. It is barely a miss. Okay. Okay. He is using a short bow, so. All right. Anything else for you, Lazar? I think you might have you burnt up all your movement, didn't you? Uh, twenty feet, <clears throat> so ten. Well, you can move up. Uh, so nope. we're gonna go ahead and go with the the prone goblin. I'm gonna go ahead and use half my movement. Mercy. And then his movement is halved anyway. So, wow, he is like totally screwed. His movement is. So I I basically can move up a little bit as he's really limping up, and that's it for him. Uh, back up to the uh, top of the round, well, sort semi top of the round. Arvel Deer, you're up. Yep. Yeah. Let's shoot him. Shoot this goblin here. One my bow. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him in the ass cheek. Yep, he's within a uh, plain sight for you. So. No thank you. No nothing. Jerk. Oh, thank uh, you, but no. It's a miss. Your attack is a 12 versus armor class? That's a miss. Okay. How many attacks can I use? Uh, just one. Mm, okay. If I don't well, do any movement? You can... No, you can use your bonus action to throw a, a dagger if you got another dagger. 